Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of the Baldur's Gate Trilogy. In this episode we'll be doing some housekeeping stuff right after Chateau Arunicus. And um, I guess you'll see what we do. You dare to attack me? Do you even know who me? You will suffer! You will all suffer! So, Godchild, you have escaped. You are more resourceful than I had thought. You're not going to torture us any longer. Torture? Silly girl, you just don't understand what I'm doing. I don't care what no matter how many times I play this go. game, I'm always struck by how leave, good the voice so actor that played Aurenicus did. He's just fantastic. Enough! I will no longer listen to the babbling of ignorant children. This is an unsanctioned use of magical energy. All involved will be there. This disturbance is over. Must I be interrupted at every turn? Enough of this! I really can't think of a more memorable bad guy in any role-playing game I've ever played. Sure, Darth Malak in Knights of the Old Republic was quite cool. Your pathetic magics are useless. Let this end. Even if we fall, our numbers are many. You will be overwhelmed. You bore me, Mage. You may take me in, but you will take the girl as well. What? No. I've done nothing wrong. You have been involved in illegal use of magic. You will come with us. I'm not going with him. I'm not. Help me. Please. And I, I suppose the Witcher franchise is an honorable mention because there's not necessarily one major bad guy in those games. It's primarily, you know, political intrigue, particularly in Witcher 2. And those are, those are fantastic games. Witcher 2 and Witcher 3 are the ones that I have played. Uh, I recommend both of them. Right now you might be thinking to yourself, why are you selling those wands? You're going to be a mage later. Uh, well, the reason I'm selling them is because they get recharged when you sell them. And as it is, they only have one one shot each. So they're essentially worth you know not worth very much to me in their current state and I would rather have a tiny bit of money now in the inventory space primarily um, than you know one shot of a of a wand the adventure marks the finest shopping in all of Faerun widest selection lowest prices and nary a fancy illustration just the goods fair and plain Is it important, peasant? Once I have all the ultra expensive items that I need for this playthrough, I'm gonna go back and buy every scroll I think I'll possibly need, uh, just because I want all the experience. Uh, when I dual class to mage, I, I basically want to sit there, memorize spells for a half an hour, and be up to like level 10. I will record all of that, but I'm going to put it all into one video. Uh, so if you want to watch it, and then feel free, but I probably won't commentate over it, and I won't feel bad if you skip that one. Because it's literally going to be me sitting in the menus, memorizing scrolls, and gaining experience. And in the video after that, I'll show everything that I'm choosing to memorize, uh, the reasons why I think the spells that I memorized are the right choice, uh, things like that. So honestly, I'm going to record it just so people don't think I'm cheating, uh, although I, I don't know if anyone even thinks that. But I'll, I'll have everything for this playthrough on video. I'm not going to do anything off camera, uh, but that, that one will definitely be one that should not be watched unless you're super into watching so menus. Prisoners from the disturbance at Joaquin's promenade. What is known? Not but their names. The mage is John Irenicus. The girl is Emmeline. I didn't do anything. Silence, child. Allow the fool to make his judgment. Why was this man not gagged? Did he not slay four of you? We dared not approach. Uh, regardless, in the end... After I recorded everything I have recorded now, which is... About two hours more gameplay than what you're seeing now. 
uh, I always felt like, like, man, I haven't done too much. But then I realized how many cutscenes, how many dialogue sequences, like the dream sequences and everything that you have to get through before, you know, you have to, you can just play the game. I think those glasses of identification eventually pay for themselves, uh, but, and I wanted to buy them there, but the more I think about it, I don't think I needed to. Because at a certain point, money doesn't mean anything, and 2800 gold right now is prohibitively, um, it's, it's cost prohibitive, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'll see to it. It's done. You have been I was caught a little bit by surprise that this encounter happened so quickly. I thought this was like, you could travel a few places and then this encounter happened, but I guess it's the, the first time you go to the city gates, no matter what, is you, you get this fight. You saw me pick up all those plus one arrows. Um, I have no particular use for them, but I thought they would be worth more um, to me. But you can only stack up 80 arrows without mods. And in order to identify, it costs 100 gold, and they only sell for one gold apiece. So essentially, you're losing 20 gold uh, to identify and sell a stack of 80. So in the future, I will not be picking up plus one arrows. And I'm really hoping by the time I'm a mage, I'm not going to have any use for money any longer. Yeah. And here I'm trying to see the the secret door to get to get to the day star, but the game doesn't want to cooperate. So I was going to try to fight and kill that vampire because I think she gives you about 4,000 XP. But uh, she hit me and level drained me and I didn't want to deal with that so I just reloaded. And I'm just going to let them fight. Let me have a taste. Come. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but I'm going to be going the Shadow Thieves route. Um, I'm more comfortable with that. I, I know it better. And I would prefer to have those magical items first. Uh, just because that amulet in particular is going to be helpful. I believe mages can equip it, if I remember correctly. Child of Baal has come. We had hoped that our call for aid would draw you here. Praise to the Watcher for hearing our prayers. Here, we are atop the ancient prison at last. We 
In the future, I'm not going to talk to Brother Pole, um, because he's the one that gives you that Watcher's Keep stuff, um, and I am not going to do Watcher's Keep right now. I'm not that dumb. I really, really just wanted to come over here and get the, the potion case. Uh, this is the only potion case that I know of in Boulder's Gate 2. And inventory management is a nightmare, um, even with the potion case, so I, I couldn't imagine what it'd be like without it. That Vigil Stone, uh, I would love to see a mod that turns it into a gem, so you can just throw it into a gem bag. If I was smart, I would have picked up those arrows of piercing. I hope I picked them up now. I don't remember if I do or not. Nope, I don't. But those arrows of piercing are, are valuable. If it must be done. There are also some of the best arrows in the game. If you're playing an archer class, or you just want your thieves with short bows or whatever, and you need them to be doing extra damage, they do an extra d6 of damage on top of uh, the bonuses from... Uh, everything else I and I think they get bonuses to armor penetration or something or other I, I haven't read the descriptions in a long time it's probably best to scream scream for mercy good day to you Ordinarily, when I first begin a playthrough, I don't come immediately to trade meet. Trade meets ordinarily third or so in my um, in my priority list. But I was thinking to myself, man, I don't want to do all these easier quests um, before I'm a mage. I want all my XP to go to mage. But the more I think about it, the more I think uh, I'm just gonna have to deal with it and play it as I see fit. I'll see to it. I was fighting those genies because I wanted the the Afrit bottle, Afriti, how do you, however you say that, the genie in the bottle, the, you know, Christina Aguilera style. It's done. Hey, oh, I welcome you to Trade Meat. Trade Meat has been here for generations, but now we are harassed from the strangest of sources. What I would have you do is escort him to his task. Or see to it yourselves, whichever you prefer. I'm there. Well, I take it that your grim visages are to be my escorts to whatever fate the merchants have decided upon. I have feared your coming. So this whole first episode is, or the second episode, I should say, it is a, done. a a case uh, it's case study in me being a scrub at Boulder's Gate 2. I backtrack constantly. There's things that uh, I should do in different orders. Uh, I'm not playing optimally or efficiently. Hopefully it's not too infuriating. Out of my way! Come shut your mouth, dwarf! As for you, I said get your stinking hide out of my way! Alright, go with me. Let's go. 
And the reason I say going to trade meet there was not optimal is because I didn't really do anything, and then I remembered that I can't kill trolls with my current setup. I don't have any fire damage. So I come over here to do the copper coronet stuff, because I need to buy that stupid flame, uh, flame sword. Flame sword is not necessarily a waste of money, although you can get one later. If you're playing as something that can go invisible and avoid the trolls, uh, then you can finish up the the last part of the druid grove, grab the the other uh, flame weapon that is a drop from the fight right outside of oh shoot, what is her name? Faldorn's uh, druid uh, area. I don't know what what you'd call it. Tomb of Dragomir? You can get me there? And for some reason I thought Hexat had that, um, that don't make bag of holding me. on her yes. when you first equipped her, Great. or when Special. you first got her in her party, so that that's why I'm doing this Hexat stuff. You must. I am not familiar with the new Dragon quest. I have not done, um, Hexat's, or I've only done Hexat's quest once. I've done Nero's. <sighs> Like halfway through, but the uh, the grove that she unlocks glitched out for me, and I I couldn't get any further. I don't know what happened, but it, it didn't work for me. Probably because I was trying to do it solo, and I didn't have her in my party. I trust all is well. I need a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Yeah. <laughs> I also don't know the first thing about Dorn or uh, Rashid, Rashad, whatever his name is, the the Sun Soul monk. Eddie, citizen. You can't say Sun Soul Monk Declare without yourself. thinking of that stupid. I think it's a Lenny Kravitz song. It's like, right about now, the Sun Soul brother. <laughs> uh, my stupid brain. Hold still. Hold still. So as you can see, I need some topics to talk about. If you have any questions about the game, let me know, or else I'll... I'll say all all the stupid shit that comes to my mind. So I feel like it's worth mentioning that that uh, short bow that you pick up from this guy is one that a lot of people use throughout Baldur's Gate 2 and Throne of Ball because it gives you an extra attack per round. It's uh, Tantron's bow. It's only a plus one bow, but obviously since you're doing ranged weapons, your yeah. to hit bonuses come from both the weapon and the, the ammo that you're using. So it's a fantastic bow. Um, I have no use for it, and I feel like it's worth mentioning because it is that good, but I, I really hope this is not your first experience with Baldur's Gate, this playthrough I mean. 
there's so much magic in the dialogue and the story that I'm just straight skipping because uh, I'm trying to play efficiently. You know, it's almost a challenge run going through solo. Uh, I wouldn't say it's particularly difficult to be a solo character, but it is a different playstyle, and I, I felt like sharing it. But if you're new to the Boulder's Gate franchise, I really hope that you're not watching this as your first experience because it it cuts out all all the interesting stuff with the game. Uh, I wouldn't say all the interesting stuff. I would say all the uh, the aspects of the game that made us fall in love with it so many years ago. I got some cheap beer for ya. So I guess I decided to stash that bow rather than sell it. I don't know why I did that. I hope this is worth it. So if that Hexat quest is still available, it will be in that tomb that I just passed in the bottom right corner. Uh, otherwise, she might just walk away and get mad at me. Call me a fiend, will you? Well, I've never seen such a cheap funeral in my life. You sold my clothes and kept the casket closed. You picked the flowers this morning from near the swamp. So you can probably guess why I'm here. I'm here for the Namara sword. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, it's a long sword that gives you three casts of uh, Zone of Silence Cast off your uh, each day. And be saved. Cast off your old beliefs and be saved. So obviously, I'm not going to be using it to fight. Uh, I just want it for the utility that that Zone of Silence gives you. Apparently there are a lot of locks that you can't break unless you have insane strength, like 24 or 25 or something. Because at that point I had uh, Drop on Holy Might still going so i think i had 21 strength which is god tier but still i, mean, I wasn't able to bust into that lock I've been thinking lately which is more optimal, a multi-class mage thief or a dual-class mage thief. Because uh, obviously if, it, if you're doing dual-class you're going to have more mage spells.
but if you're doing multi-class, you get all the high-level abilities from a, from a thief. Use any item is the best one in the game. I don't think that's even, you know, a point of contention. Use any item is just straight the best high-level ability in the entire game. Uh, spike traps are stupidly powerful. Um, you can one-shot the dragons in this game with them. There used to be a glitch or... or it's at least an exploit if it if it's not a glitch uh, where you could do a simulacrum or a mirror image of yourself um, or an, I guess an image that has your abilities drop the images spike traps and then drop your own and they wouldn't count towards your uh, your spike trap or your trap count um, of five because ordinarily without that you can only have a max of five traps down at any given time I, I seem to remember trying that, and it didn't work in the Enhanced Editions. So that's disappointing to me. It feels like my solo playthrough of, um, of the trilogy as a Fighter Thief is a little bit cheapened, because I did it on the old games. And now that was a tactic that I relied on for a couple of fights, and uh, now it's not possible. She resists. She I think that I could completely get through any of those areas that I exploited She'll traps on, but It is a still. portrait of what has happened and what may happen. Do you cling to the past or can you see through the pain? You feel the potential within, don't you? Will you cringe from what you know you want, what you can take as your own? You know what you want. It is you, after all, which has brought us to the dream. Alright, at the end of the dream sequence, I'll be ending this video, so thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned.